Hello, Facebook and all the world. I'm starting a little early today. I'll come back and restart at right at 9.30 like I normally do, but I want to make sure that this microphone is working. So I dialed it up. So if somebody's out there, I know I'm a little early. If somebody could give me a thumbs up that the sound is good, good. I'm not looking for echoey. I'd really like something that will work much better than normal. All right. Okay. So... What do we do for the next couple of minutes? Let's play some music. Oh, I know what I'll do. Let's see. I'm trying some other new stuff here. Lots. Good morning, Robert. Good morning, my dear Leah. How are you? Let's try this here. Okay, I'm trying something special. Something fancy. I don't know if it's going to work. Doesn't look like it's going to work. I am not. may not be smart enough to make this work. Let's see. How about this? Sound is good, huh? Look at that. It's my iPhone screen. How cool is that? All right, we got a few seconds here to go. Well, I see the regular crowd is shuffled in. It's kind of like that old bar, isn't it? Uh, what was it? The Piano Man? Is that, uh, here, I got to get this reset up. Okay, I'm going to hang on for just a second. Got a minute or two. All right, this is gonna work. So I got big, big fancy tech today. So thank you all for hanging out. Uh, good morning, Marlene and Jenny and Denise and Robert. Wow, it is a regular crowd. <laughs> this was a bar. We would be having one great time. I gotta tell you, some of my favorite people are uh, in the comment feed right now. Oh wow. Oh look at that man. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if this crowd was in a bar and I was sitting in it, sitting in it or even a coffee shop, but if we were in a bar, I would be drinking a Johnny Walker Red Label for the first time in about six months. How fun would that be? All right. In three, two, one. Good morning, Facebook and all the world. David R. Day here. I went on a little early to check some microphone. Apparently, my sound is finally good. Um, I've got some new tech. I'm going to be able to show my Facebook screen today. So when we talk about the question of the day, well, I'll actually be able to show the uh, uh, comments. That, of course, is, <laughs> yes, a 10th Street Station, although it'd be a little bit tougher, Denise, to make it. But I'm guessing that Actually, I think there's some chance that if we did that, Denise would find a way to get here. So, oh, man. Uh, <clears throat> so, this is Heard Over Coffee. I'm David R. Day. I'm a fine art and commercial photographer <laughs> in normal circumstances. Lately, I'm kind of a podcast guy, so that's been fun. Uh, I really, really, as always, as I usually do in the morning, I want to have to thank you so much because this show has really all gotten to be about you because I'm just not that interesting. So I asked a question last night. Um, this is the All Alone Together edition. In fact, I think they'll probably all be like that. <clears throat> so I also need to talk about what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to talk about how hard decisions and leadership are. Um, I'm going to talk a lot about what we've done, what our interesting and creative and uh, in some cases our sacrifices <clears throat> got a couple of do something goods and uh we're just gonna roll right in it <sighs> if you guys watched yesterday i was a bit frazzled i was really having a hard time i was i just wasn't in it um <clears throat> it had been a long tough weekend thing or a long tough week things are beginning to get to me like i think a lot of us are but so i did something for me I do not take time off. Um, usually if I'm not uh, taking photographs, I'm working on them. I'm processing. I'm working on my filing system. I just stopped. Uh, I took a long bath around here. We call them a vacation. I sat in the tub. And guess what happened? A great story came to me. A story about the last days. Well, really more about the history of the Blues Bouquet. Uh, probably won't be in the book, but I probably will share it either on Facebook or in my uh, um, <clears throat> in my Just Around the Bend private group. Uh, if you'd like more information about my book, DM me and I'll send you a link to that. All right, let's get into this, folks. Um, the question I asked was, what's hard, but what hard but correct decision have you had to make because of the current circumstances? So, and this is what 
you I, I got great response I really want to thank you all so I'm gonna switch to my iPhone I'll see if that works and uh, um, that will cover up I think it will cover up almost everything it may even uh, 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 all right Denise says she's in for all so all getting together in a bar um, <clears throat> I'm glad that you showed up mark and let's yeah let's let's get to this okay I think when I do this, the comments go away. I'm not sure. So we'll just have to hang on and see how it goes. Ah, they do not go away. All right. So let's talk about uh, what hard decisions you made. Um, uh, and I can scroll through here so we can talk about this. So um, one of the things that uh, uh, was hard is the Capital City Public Market. I talked about it briefly. They have decided that they will not... Uh, be a public event until at least in at least May, um, and we'll evaluate it at that time. I gotta tell you, for Mona and the staff, I'm sure that was just gut wrenching. It had to be very difficult. We are making really tough decisions, and I'm extremely proud of all of you. Um, uh, uh, let's see if I can do this. Oh, sorry, that's a little blurry, isn't it? Um, my friend Millie, uh, Millie, Hil Hil <coughs> Millie Hilgert of Repop, she had to close her store. Uh, she had to lay off employees. Boy, that had to just be gut-wrenching. I just can't imagine how hard that is. She's reinventing her business. She has a, 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 sh a show this evening. Um, I'm not quite sure what the details are, but I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put that link in in these comments so you can get to that i've not yet figured out how i can directly link to the screen but you know i'm working on that so what are the hard decisions a lot of the hard decisions are just missing contact um <clears throat> Uh, my friend Tony Moody uh, said that he needed a hug from me, which, man, I'm telling you what, you got to be lonely. If you know Tony, you know that's not uh, that's not very uh, likely to happen. A lot of people, a lot of people are missing uh, family. Um, <clears throat> um, my friend Kevin is not getting to see his mom. Uh, Marissa is missing a baby shower. Uh, and um, my friend Pam. Uh, is not going to get to go to Denver to to arrange her uh, daughter's wedding. Those are tough decisions, but it's really important that we make them. And, and I uh, really, really, really uh, have been uh, proud of the community, the way Boise has responded. We're, we're flattening the curve. There's no question that we have got it back. I know we got a late start. Um, I was talking to my wife who's in health and welfare. Uh, she handles... Uh, um, <clears throat> Uh, she works with the, the long-term health care, which are mostly elderly. Um, so far, although we are beginning to see some cases in, in nursing homes, um, we seem to have maybe gotten ahead of the curve, or if at least not ahead of the curve, we have moved into a position where it's not going to be as bad as Seattle was, which is very, very good news. I've talked to several people. <clears throat> I'm trying to talk to people directly, not getting information off the Internet or from Facebook. I've talked to people directly, and it seems as if there is some chance, a good chance, that this is going to be peaking sometime probably the end of May. So we're in this at least till May and maybe into June. Um, <clears throat> lots of travel plans have been canceled, which are sad. Um my uh, <laughs> my uh, daughter's girlfriend Jameson, um, they've had to cancel their trip to Denver. That's that's kind of sad. Um, lots of people are going to go out and about. Um, it's tough. It is really really tough. I'm going to just scroll scroll back through. Oh, ha -ha! guess what? I can't scroll with my finger on the screen here. So, a um, couple of different people: Mike Shipman and uh, uh, Darlene Hildebrandt, who both do live or who do workshops have had to cancel their workshops um my friend david cobb has canceled my workshop that i was going to take in the palouse for photographers that's how a lot of us make our money we go out in the middle of nowhere and we teach people how to take better photographs it's got to be gut-wrenching when you just look and you decide that you're just not going to make any money but again it's the right thing to do uh Boy, it's it's got to be very hard. Look look at Marissa. Canceled baby shower. Haven't seen my sister's baby. She flew back from San, flew back to San Diego with her now with her now canceled baby shower. Currently mourning the family via video chat instead of in, or mourning with family via video chat instead of in person. 
there's a heartbreaking symbol at the end of that, and this is truly heartbreaking. These are very tough times. But one thing I can tell you is we are in this alone but together. Uh, the community has come together very strongly from Boise State making um, personal protection uh, units and the University of Idaho uh, with their things. I've seen some very encouraging things. It uh, looks like the government bailout. I listened to a podcast on Planet Money last night. It looks like it is going to reach some of those people that I was so concerned about. The small businesses, um, <clears throat> uh, several, I've heard of several people um, who have decided that they are going to defer rent, including the uh, the owners of the Art Source Gallery. So it looks like we'll get to stick around. They're going to de defer April and May's rent. Kudos to them because um, I was really worried about the Art Source Gallery and being able to reopen, uh, but we'll be able to do that. Um, so the landlord of El Gairo Giro, if you know who that is, I'm not going to mention her because I don't want to embarrass her, but um, she is going to extend, uh, she's going to defer their rent. Um, uh, I think some of you know that my sister is involved in Vista Village. Um, we're talking currently about doing some deferments. Uh, uh, and there is the opportunity for uh, for self-employed. Self-employed are going to be able to qualify for some unemployment and small businesses like uh, like Millie's and probably Mike's and Darlene's are uh, well Darlene's in Canada so she doesn't count. They are going to be able to um, uh, they are going to be able to apply for for loans so oh oh that's right so i've got a friend whose name is don juker uh you may know her she is a musician and uh, just a great woman um and amazing singer but she has made 450 masks uh-oh what happened ah! okay did you guys did i lose you uh-oh okay i don't know what happened guys so I'm going to go back to this because I think my phone has gone away. So anyway, Don Juker, <laughs> you knew that was too good to last, right? The sound's right. The pictures are correct. <laughs> you knew that couldn't last. So we're back to the regular tech version of the disaster, the train wreck that we call David R. Day's Heard Over Coffee. So getting back to it, my friend, I'm easily distracted. Have you noticed? My friend Don Juker uh, has created 450 masks, and it's just amazing. I think I can bring this in here. All right, so I do have some tech going. Isn't that amazing? Can you imagine how uh, she's a she's a farm girl at heart, so it doesn't surprise me at all that she got in and got all those masks made, and that's just now. So uh, uh, that is just fantastic. Well, I'm glad to know. I'm glad that I didn't go away. Uh, it sounds like the screen just decided to delete my. Um, it sounds like the screen just decided to delete my iPhone for some reason. Um, this is pretty interesting software. It's really good when it works, but it doesn't always work. I, you can tell over here that uh, this is a trial version, so um, I don't uh, I don't have to renew it. I think I'm going to. Um, I think I've now figured out because I can present from my phone that I'll be able to do I'll be able to do FaceTime or Zooms to my phone, and then we'll do that. So. If I can find a willing victim, I will probably try to do a face-to-face, face-to-phone, face-to-some, I'm not quite sure how that works, a direct link to my phone, and uh, <clears throat> we will we'll go live on my phone with the uh, uh, right here on Heard Over Coffee. Yeah, you should probably stick around for that because it will at least be entertaining. <clears throat> All right, let's talk about some some things we can do. Uh, Dave Wren has mentioned uh, his his uh, fiance works for one of the plasma places. Um, just recently, the uh, uh, Red Clock Cross put out a plea for uh, blood, and all of the appointments were filled almost immediately. So, um, blood and plasma are very important. Um, we still have lots of lots of sick people who are still out there and about. So just because we have coronavirus, there are still, I, I saw that uh, in, in any given, who said squirrel? That was mean. So almost any, uh, uh, all of the rest of the diseases are still going on. We still have cancers and heart, heart diseases and that sort of thing. So giving plasma is a great idea. Um, one of the things you can do for something. Obviously, if you, if you have a way to make, you know, stuff like, 
PPEs or uh, or so. Yeah, not really, not really one of my uh, long suits. But you know, if you have that sort of ability, please do that. Uh, give give you something to do. So, um, in that, uh, do something good. Are you all loving this color challenge that all of a sudden we we uh, uh, are are doing? Oh, Denise says she's a willing victim to my Zoom FaceTime me idea. We might have to do that because she's an amazing Photoshop person, an all around badass, and a good friend. So, Denise, you and I may be talking. So, um, that sounds fun. And so would Mark Overgaard. So, are you loving these challenges, these photo challenges? We did landscapes for a couple of days, and now we're doing colors. So, lavenders, orange, reds. I haven't done any yet because they showed up this morning, and I'll probably do that because. As you may or may not know, I have 100,000 digital images. Uh, I'm recently doing a new fo filter, a new program um, uh, where I'm trying to categorize them and getting, getting them all on one face drive. I'm up to 60,000 images that are currently categorized, and so I'm well in my way. And I'm, those are all, those are non-commercial. Those don't include a single semi truck uh, <laughs> interestingly enough if they're not a picture of my wife my kids or my dog there's virtually no people in them so landscape challenges are good um the new york times apparently i hear mark let's hear here robert let's go here boom uh robert says that the new york times has put out instructions on how to make masks it wouldn't do me any good uh i don't have a sewing machine actually in this house there probably is a sewing machine someplace but uh you know so if you want to make masks there you go there's a way to do it um oh that's sad here look at this so my friend ziggy is apparently a broken finger is non-essential so he doesn't get to a uh, can't even go to a doctor this is bad. I was really lucky. I got the last appointment to get my tooth fixed. So uh, those of you who have been around for me in the beginning, um, one of the things that started with this uh, uh, is um, that I was able to get my tooth fixed at the very last minute, which was a good thing. So yes, non-essential surgeries. Let's get this taken care of, folks. And the way to do that is to stay sane, stay safe. And we have a new meaning to that old saying. I wouldn't touch him with a six-foot pole. All right, folks. This has been fun. I appreciate you all being here. Uh, I'm at 15 minutes, and I'm kind of trying to keep these between 15 and 20 minutes so I don't ramble on. You know how this works. I go up here, and I try really hard to hit this button. We'll see if it works. I'm out. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow.